It's the Atom Power 200 amp battery monitor. I'm gonna show you how this thing works. This battery monitor has real-time monitoring. So you'll always have real-time access to your battery's voltage, the current draw, the watts, the charge level, and remaining time. So here you have the voltage, okay, then you have the current in amps, and then also you go down to your power, which is in watts, and then you've got your remaining time, which is down here. So this one here is your capacity percentage and value. So hit the OK button here, shows you the 100% or what you have remaining amp hours. And then you've got your dynamic indication here and shows you that. So when you set this, the settings automatically save. So if you lose power of this device, the settings stay as you set them. This monitor is compatible with flooded, AGM, gel, and lithium batteries. So you can have any type of battery and it'll work. So you could use this in your four wheel drive, your motor home, camper van, in your boat, Wherever you've got a battery, a solar system at home, pretty much anywhere. Now, it's got about three to four meters of cable, okay, which comes from the shunt. So the connections on your shunt are very simple. So this is fitted on the negative cable. So you remove your negative cable off your battery to your electrical system, and then you connect that to the P minus on the shunt. Okay, so this is your existing negative battery cable. And then you just put this near your battery and then you connect the short cable from here to the negative of your battery. This goes to your monitor and that's the power to your battery. You get about half a meter of red cable, that's for your power. So you just connect that to the battery. And that is your connections, pretty simple. This is for demonstration purposes only. This is not permanent. I've just connected this to show it working. I'm not using any fuse here. Should you connect this, connect this with a one amp fuse as this is very, very minimal current used by this meter. So I'm gonna use this here to show you discharge, recharge. Now you can flush mount this if you wish, or you've got the mounting block which is supplied. And the connection's only a one way, so you can't muck it up. Okay, viewers, now I'm draining the battery with a 12 volt kettle. So I'll let that go for a while. So I've drained a bit of power with my 12 volt kettle. So now I'm gonna charge it up now with my Victron battery charger. So I'm gonna plug it in. Right now I'll show you what it does when it's actually charging. So I've got my charger hooked up. It's charging the battery. Okay, so that's what it does when it's charging. Okay, it shows you time to go to full, and it's charging off the Victron. Now I've just got the kettle connected to the, the Kmart inverter here. All right, so we're 0.4 amps, just idle. Okay, and now I'll turn the kettle on, flick it on, and we are pulling 52.4 amps. So 600 and what is it? 667 watts. So we've got about one hour and 53 minutes left if we keep just charging at this rate. Okay, viewers, now to set this thing up, you just go into settings. So you go set, so push and hold set. You go into a menu. Okay, and then you've got either one of four options here. Okay, so you've got your capacity. It came default at 100 amp hours, so that's what my battery is. Okay, so I've got it set for full at 14.2, and these come with nothing, so you've got to put your voltages in. And zero, let's say, I'll go to, let's say, well, let's say 12.4 volts. So you can set this to 14.2, you can set it to 13.8, whatever you wish. Yeah, so I've got mine set there, 14.2, but you can change these values anytime you like. And I think this is the the um, the time for the LED to light up on the screen. This was preset at 99 seconds, so I left that as well. And then when you finish, you push and hold okay, 
and it backs out of the screen to the original view. You know, it's not Bluetooth or anything like that. It's got wires on it. You don't need a phone. So if you've got this somewhere near your batteries or somewhere where you're viewing the monitor, it's always there. So you can just look at it. It gives you an idea on how much power you have left in your batteries. So you don't have to fumble around for your phone because sometimes I have Bluetooth ones and you gotta look for your phone. Otherwise you can't read what's in your batteries. Yeah, it's pros and cons with everything, I guess.